Welcome back guys and here we have the Wonder 360C1 review. You can buy this for around £100 with the 10% off link down in the description below. You can take a look at that if you want. Uh, but the Wonder 360 looks really, really nice. It's a really well designed 360 camera. Nice clean white finish. It's comfortable to hold in the hand. It's not too big and it's not too small. And the bottom of the camera there you can screw onto tripods and even selfie sticks as well. You can pop them around wherever you want. It's very, very good. So in terms of specifications, it can shoot um, still images, also video. It can shoot at 60 frames per second. Also do, does uh, time lapses as well. It does all the stitching inside the camera, so you don't need no sort of third-party apps to do that. It does 3K videos, 60 FPS full HD video, and 4K photos. It has 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. And you can also do live streaming to YouTube, Facebook. The app you can get for iOS and Android phones. And that's what we're going to jump onto next, because this is where obviously you do all your work. I think we've seen the camera. That is a really well designed 360 camera. So let's jump in to the app. Okay, so make sure you're connected to the, uh, the camera. Pano there, look, P A N O. Click that. Password is 1234567. You're now connected directly to the camera. Open up Wonder 360. The bottom at the bottom is the green button there. That's how you connect to the camera. And there we go. So this is the live view. The bottom here, look. Got all these settings, video, 60 frames per second. You can shoot in there. Time lapse, video looping, and loads of other stuff. You've also got the live function as well, but you have to switch to a USB connection and turn on live for that. Also at the top right hand corner there, you have a battery percentage or a battery monitor. It tells you also what setting you're in. And the SIM card there as well. You can see the little icon there. Bottom right here, open up a little bit of menu. So you can set the uh, the viewing to a uh, gyro or in VR mode. So if you've got any VR goggles. And there's plenty more. So this is the live view setting straight from the camera. Now, settings here, camera status, Wi-Fi settings, loads of settings here. Down to the bottom, you can also do firmware update. And there has been up, uh, a couple of updates on this, which have improved quality slightly. You can also update the app from there as well, clear the cache. So that's your settings at the bottom right. So again, the green button takes you straight back to the preview. So that's the live view at the moment. Let's go back and have a look at the bottom left where the picture icon is. This is where you download the app and a lot of these videos are sort of pre-installed with the application so you can see uh, see some of the footage. The top one there is a video that I've downloaded from the camera locally to the phone. If I look at the camera tab on there and all here, this is what is on the camera at the moment. This is all the footage that I've captured over the last few weeks when I've been testing this camera. You can live view it from here. This is playing directly from the camera. And you can move around with your fingers, tap on the screen, and you have some more settings, fisheye, tiny planet, which is, I think is really cool. I love that setting. Excellent setting. And then back to the mirror ball. You can also go into VR mode as well. If you want to download a video from the camera into your, onto your phone, you see the little down arrow there next to the bin. You just click the down arrow and it downloads straight away. Let's go back to local and there you go. It's downloaded now onto the phone. Easily and fast transferring of images and pictures from the camera to the phone. So we have landscape mode. This is playing back from the camera. At the moment we are in uh, I think mirror ball setting. That's uh, fish eye and then tiny planet oh there we go 
tiny planet again. Yeah, here we're back to mirror ball image. No. I set the camera on there on a tripod. And uh, the quality is good when you're viewing it from the phone. Uh, when exporting it, you do lose a bit of quality, unfortunately. It doesn't look as good as it does when you're viewing it on a mobile device, a smaller screen. But all the same, it's pretty good. And if I turn on gyroscope, you might not be able to see the benefits of this really from the actual screen recording app. If I come round onto the camera, you can move it around and gyroscope will work on that as well. And that is pretty much all you need to know. It's really, really easy to use. Settings, the green button for the live view camera, pictures here so you can view uh, the videos and the pictures, and you can switch to the camera location or smartphone location. It's really, really easy. So that was the 360 review. It is a good camera. It's uh, reasonably priced as well. Um, sound quality uh, could be better because it does sound a little bit muffled at times. And the video quality isn't excellent. Uh, it's all right, it's uh, better when you're viewing it on uh, maybe smaller devices. But video quality could be better. Um, I've reviewed a few 360 cameras and um, that's where they do sort of fall short sometimes. The quality isn't spot on just yet, but it's definitely decent enough, you know. Um, it's a cool little camera. Now, I have put together a independent 360 video, which I will put up in the card up above, and I will put in the description below, so you can have a look at the true 360 footage of this camera. If you've got a VR headset, whack your headset on, and um, there's a, there'll be a few minutes of that. Uh, but this is it guys, this is the review of the Wonder 360 C1. Pretty cool camera. 10% 10 10 discount in the description below if you use my link. Um, happy shopping. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.